evening. Hailing from Queens, New York, Dominique Hart is a visual branding strategist and a dynamic entrepreneur who is passionately creative and is no stranger to a challenge. Dominique also has extensive knowledge in marketing and social media for small businesses and advertising. She championed her bachelor's of degree in advertising and is well known uh, also having a certificate in entrepreneurship from the Temple University in springs of 2012. In the corporate advertising industry, she has served as a creative intern and also in the summer of 2013, she worked with Uniworld Group. Her profile responsibility included development of execution of concept and logos, print ads, interactive platforms, and of course, social media. She is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and currently resides back home in New York. New York and now nationwide, she is currently working with some amazing business owners and public figures through her company, Dynamic Endeavor, and that pronounced as Dynamic, by the way. Dynamic Endeavors is a boutique design agency agency that transforms brands and achieve accelerated profiles and dynamics presence. Dominique has a hidden passion for dance and appreciation of all things that involve creative expressions. Dominique in all her ways, her ability to merge concept and design has allowed her to collaborate with wide range independent clients and sectors including well-known advertisement firms, major nonprofit organizations, religious organizations, community-based organizations, Fortune 500 companies and the international, uh, inter international intelligence agencies. Dominique Hart is currently accepting clients from advertising agencies, design studios, medium-sized companies, and entrepreneurs who seek her expertise service. Let's welcome Dominique Hart. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Dominique Hart. I am so happy and excited to share this space with you guys today. I know you guys have been hearing some amazing, juicy details about how to further your life, further your business, further your dreams, and further your vision. And what's so interesting about what we're going to talk about today as it relates to your brand, right, is that vision has everything to do with it. Okay. And so for those of you guys who don't know the difference between the two, I'm going to break it down for you today, because ultimately what I want you to know is how important your visual brand is to creating sales in your business now and in the future. Okay. And so in order to really understand how this direction actually happens, right, from branding to, to sale, it is, un, is really, really important for you to understand some basics first. So we're going to cover a little groundwork. Is that all right? Okay. So first and foremost, it's, under, it's really important to understand the difference between what branding is and visual branding is. So as you guys have heard in my beautiful, beautiful introduction, thank you so much, Deborah. I really appreciate that. You read that beautifully. Mm -hmm. So thank you again. Um, it is really under, important to understand that me as a visual brand strategist, I focus on the design, right? How does your brand look? How is it being portrayed to the world? How are you showing up? in excellence through that design, right? So that is the essence of what visual branding is. But it's important to know that you can't get to what visual branding is until you understand branding in itself, okay? Okay. So although I am well-versed in that in Temple University and studying abroad in Japan and working with ab ab corporate advertising agencies, et cetera, right? Working with really large brands and the like, it's really important to know that Although we know that information about branding, et cetera, here is the unique focus that we drill into deeper, right? But it's really important for you as you are navigating this new world. Some of you are new entrepreneurs. Some of you are seasoned and well into your tenure of your businesses. But even I want you to understand that no matter where you are in this journey called 
business and entrepreneurship, it is important that you understand the difference between branding and visual branding, and furthermore, how that makes you more money which is why we're in business, right? <laughs> to make money, right? Of course, to serve, as I know you guys are in your businesses, but of course, to make money. It's understanding the basics of what you want to communicate, okay? So Dominique, what does that mean? That means you need to ask yourself some core questions. Who am I? right? Or if you're creating a third party uh, uh, business, I get this question a lot, Dominique, uh, I have, a, I have a, a corporate brand, but I, but I also have my own personal brand. How should I brand the two if I'm standing on the forefront all the time? And that's fine. As a brand, you have to establish whether it is you or a third party company, right? Meaning that just it's just a company name that's going to be known to the public as opposed to just your name, right? It is, under, it is important to understand who am I? What do I want to communicate? How do I want them to feel in my presence as they are embarking on their journey with me in my business? How is it that I want them to feel as they are uh, working with me or purchasing my product, right? Same thing for you if you have products. It's, under, it's really important to understand that first because even as you go on into the visual branding side of things and design and websites and business cards and presenting your best self forward, which is something we should always be looking forward to doing, right? Your designer, your creative team, your videographers, Anyone who's working in a creative capacity with you needs to know this, right? And they're going to be asking you these questions, no matter who you work with, whether they just started being a designer today or they just started or they were a designer 20 years ago, doesn't matter right? They're going to be asking you, well, what is your vision for this project? What is your vision for this logo? What is your vision for this, this website? What do you want it to do? How do you want it to look? How do you want it to be? And if you don't have the answers for these various questions, it is going to be hard for you to show up dynamically in your visual brand. Does that make sense? So I love to start explaining what that is because I understand. Dominique, you're the expert. Tell me what to do. <laughs> right? So so that is a part of what that journey is, right? You have to understand your brand before you start to attach design to it, okay? So you have to understand your brand before you attach design to it. Now, after that, right? Now, this is the part where I know for a fact you guys want to make sure you have your pens and pencils because we're also going to be talking about marketing in today's program. And so I'm really excited for you guys to hear that because the two work together as one. Branding and marketing work as husband and wife, <laughs> right? The two don't work without one another, okay? okay. And so, yes, people, you may, you may have this grand vision. I want to be known by the masses and, and, and I'm going to be a household name and, and I'm going to be a millionaire. I need you to understand that marketing doesn't work without that brand. Marketing doesn't work without that signature piece that draws people to you. And so that is why I'm here today. Your pastor, your leader brought me here today to say, break it down for the people, Dom. <laughs> Dominique, break it down for the people because I want them to succeed. I want my people to succeed. And so that is why I'm here. I'm here to serve. I'm here to share this with you, okay? So now that we kind of get a gist of, okay, I need to understand this experience that I'm bringing people on, this journey that I'm bringing people on, whether they're buying body butter or you are doing their taxes, any one of the things, if you are selling anything or if you are in commerce, it is important for you to understand what your brand is and how we do it dynamically is by understanding strategically how we want to take our clients on that journey, right? So you may be an accountant, but what kind of accountant are you, right? We've had clients, uh, Fusion Alliance. I love, love, love those clients. Unfortunately, the, the founder, he has passed away. But before he passed away, he said, Dominique, we're, we're, we're more than accountants here right? We, we are, we're, we're business minded. We're a business savvy. We take our clients on a strategy. I don't want our con. I don't want our company to just be perceived as any other tax company out there. We're different. 
And as I brought them through what I call our dynamic method, it's our, my, our signature method here at Dynamic Endeavors, as I brought them through our signature dynamic method, yeah, they began to see wow, we have more opportunity out there than we thought because we are different, because we are special, because we are experienced in what we do. The dynamic method brings that right? And so we're going to explore a few, more, a few of those elements today. I can't go over everything because we only have a little bit amount of time. I want to share as much as I can with you in this time. But we're going to go over quite a bit. So I want you to get your pens and I want you to get your pencil. So we've already started to dig into some really key uh, uh, differentiators, right? My brand is how do I want to create this experience for the people I'm working with, for the people I am called to serve, yeah. And this is how I want them to feel. This is why this is what I want them to know about why I stand before them. This is this is the journey I want to take them on. And this is the results I want them to have. This is the impact I want them to have as a result of working with me. Right. It also helps you branding also helps you to pinpoint who do I want to work with. Right. Who does my solution best fit because everyone will end up eventually being attracted to you right Jeff Bezos when he created Amazon was for a niche market people who love books right but now it serves a greater purpose and that happens the longer and the longer you are in business that you begin to attract more people even if they are outside of the scope of who you initially serve and that's the beautiful part of it it's okay but initially what do I want to be known for in my market? Branding helps you to do that. Now let's move on. Now, if you guys haven't noticed already, I am the queen of dropping really good gems and nuggets. I waste no time. <laughs> and so certainly, hopefully this has been helpful for you so far. So hopefully now you'll know, okay, now I know, Dominique taught me. What is the difference between branding? I got it, right? Now there's, of course, deeper work to be done there, but I want you to understand the difference. So now you understand the difference between branding and visual branding. Now I'm going to take you down the road of visual branding, which is my forte. Visual branding now, okay, is the beautiful stuff, right? The pretty things, <laughs> you know, to all my ladies out there, right? To all the pretty things, the things that make it look good, right? But it, in a deeper sense, visual branding is the visual element, is the is the is the uh, visual aspect of that said brand, that said uh, experience you want to, people to have. It is the visual take on the vision that you have in your mind. It is the visual representation of what God spoke into you to share with the world. So you can understand, and, and, I, and I know I'm in a good place here, so I want to share this because I'm a good, I'm a God girl myself, right? Now, understand this. If God is the ultimate creator, understand that we have the ultimate guidebook as to how to create. Yes. So if we have that, then it's important that we understand. And it's something that I impart in all my clients and I'm sharing it with you all today, that if God operates in excellence, so should we. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat that again. So if God operates in excellence, so should we. So therefore, if we are called to the marketplace, if we are called to commerce, right, especially as believers, then therefore it is important for us to make sure that we invest in our brand so that when we show up, we do it in, in excellence, but we also show up looking the part, meaning that we don't show up asking for a million dollars showing up looking like we got something from Dollar General. Okay, now I know I can't hear y'all, but I know y'all saying amen. <laughs> but so, so it's really, really important because why? Money knows money. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Money knows money. Whether you are asking someone to pay $20 or you are asking them to pay $2 million, money knows money. So if I am showing up and I'm showing up in the best capacity, I see it amen there in the chat. <laughs> 
Thank you, Jimmy. Um, if I am showing up in my best self, in my in the best way that I possibly can, showing up with all of the heart I possibly can to serve, and I am showing up saying my service, my technology, my company is worth two million dollars, and I deserve to be compensated for that, then surely my brand must represent that as well. Visual branding helps you to communicate that message, whether it be, remind you, $2 million or $20, it doesn't matter. Your visual brand helps you to communicate that message even when you are in the room. I'm going to say it again. Your visual brand helps to communicate, right, your ultimate message, your service, your product, your technology, even when it helps to communicate what that is and the value that it serves and why that client or customer needs it, even when you are not in the room. Furthermore, when you embark on your marketing endeavors, your visual brand helps to stop people in their tracks, stop them from scrolling further, stop them from walking, stop them from watching another program and, and, and buy, engage click, right? Submit, right? Invest. That is what your visual brand helps you to do. So you can imagine if my visual brand is not right, then I, it, it, it makes it harder for me to do what I was called to do. And for some of you, you guys have already been experiencing that in one way, shape, or another. For those of you who are more experienced in business, you know that you had a harder time in the beginning because of this lack of knowledge in this particular area. Now, you may have known, okay, well, I need a logo. But later on in your journey, you start to find out, wait a second, I need more than a logo. I need more here. And I don't know what that is. Well, today when we're talking all about creating a visual brand that sells, right? Creating a visual brand that sells, we're gonna go over some core elements that you know you're going to need by the end of this talk, okay? So let's dive into this. So now that we laid the groundwork, we know what branding is, we know what visual branding helps us to do and why it's so important that we show up at looking the part because we are the part, right? Now, let's dive into some core elements that you are going to need to help establish what your visual brand is, okay? And now, once again, this is a part of my dynamic signature method. I share this with clients all across the country and all across the world as well. Yes, just wrapped up um, uh, working with clients in Amsterdam going Amsterdam going over social media strategy for their organization. So that's really, really cool and really, really important to know because it's not just limited to where you are in, in, in your world, across the world, people need to know this information. So make sure that you guys are writing this down because we're going to dive into it right now. Okay, so one thing, one thing that you definitely are going to need to help you to establish what that visual brand is, what that dynamic visual brand is, is understanding that you need to live the vision. Okay, live the vision. Now, I've already started to touch on this. Okay, so it's, under, it's important for you to understand that you need to live the vision. Why? Because when you start talking about expansion, expanding your team, expanding your organization, expanding the wealth of knowledge that you possess, and you are going to be in a position where you have to now teach other people how to serve in the world that you have created, my dynamic creator. So in order to do that, you have to live that vision so that they have a go-to, a reference to live off of. Now, what does that also mean? If I am bring, if I am now working with a graphic designer, a web designer, or anything of that nature, once again, I told you they're going to be asking you these questions. What what is it that you? What are your goals here? Do you have a specific strategy? What are you? What are your goals in the future? Right? If you can't answer what your goals are. Five years from now, 10 years from now, what you, I, what, what you ideally want to happen or see happen in your organization, it makes it very hard for designers, photographers, videographers, anyone working on your behalf, it makes it very hard for them to implement that vision that you have been given in your mind. 
Yeah. So that is when communication becomes hard, right? Because if you're saying, oh, well, um, well, well, I just want you to do it. You know, you, you, you're creative. You got it. You got it. You got it. No, they don't got it because God gave them a different vision compared to the one God gave you. Their job is to understand the vision that God gave you in your mind. So if you can't put that in words, if you can't give that a, a, a picture, or if you can't describe that, it makes it very hard to accomplish that God given agenda. Does that make sense? So it is important to live that vision. Okay. Now, moving on from that. And, and, for, and furthermore, I do want to share this dynamic is with K in my world for a specific reason, for a plethora of reason, reasons, but first and foremost, it is spelt with a K, D-Y-N-A-M-I-K, because of kingdom. Yeah, it's huge. And it's because of that, because I know the creator we have. I know the vision he gives each and every one of my clients. And so because of that, it is important that I make sure not only do we show up in excellence, but that our clients show up in excellence as well. So we do that through our services, through our education, through our resources. We do that every step of the way, in every step of the engagement, so that they can understand what road we're taking them on, right? That dynamic road that we're taking them on, yeah? And so in our vision, it is important that you show up dynamically and in excellence. And the ultimate vision, the ultimate visionary of how to do that is our God himself. So hence, dynamic is spelled with a K. But if you can even take that example, you can see the intention that's set behind design in our world, right? campaigns in our world, websites in our world, logos in our world, all the colorful and prettyful things in our world. It is done in a specific and a strategic way because by the time our clients are finished working with us, listen to the words and the verbiage I'm using, by the time our clients have finished working with us, I want them to show up in their industry their business, their, amongst their colleagues, amongst their competitors, I want them to show up dynamically. I want them to show up excellent. And as a result of them trusting us, of them investing in us in any capacity, whether it be me as a speaker or investing in our team to actually execute the vision, whether investing in me to be their strategist all throughout the way, I want them to show up dynamically. So in your own verbiage, I want you to navigate that for your own audience. By the time my audience is finished working with me, I want them to show up in their industry X. And as a result, I want them to accomplish what? Because here's the thing. God wants them to accomplish something in the end, you are a catalyst to help them get there. Does that make sense? Doesn't matter what you do. I don't care if you make the most banging body butter ever. God wants them to not be ashy. Amen. <laughs> and wants their skin to be taken care of. Right? He <laughs> created you with a magic potion to make sure that their eczema is gone or taken care of or healed, right? That is a healing ministry, okay? People want to show up beautifully and you help them do that. Even if it's, let's go back to the tax example. God wants them to show up profitable and in good standing, right? And law abiding, right? You help them to do that. It, your goal should be to help them to do it well and to do it with excellence, yes? So you guys can see how that's important to live the vision. So when you live the vision, it makes your creative team have such an easier task on their hands and they're now able to use their God-given gifts a whole lot easier on your behalf. You see how important that is? And so, yes, it's important that they're creatives and they can just do it. Go ahead, do what you do. Yes, do what you do. But here's the vision in mind. Help me get there by creating that vision for me. Yeah? 
So hopefully that's helpful because you're going to need to know this as your business begins to grow and grow and expand and expand and expand. Living that vision is going to be the core. So I'm spending my time in making sure you guys get this. Okay. Cause I can't tell you how many times I get clients who come to me and they say, we know you're dynamic. Go ahead. And you just, you just go out, you go right on ahead and I have to bring them back home. And I said, no, no, no. Yes. Yes. We are dynamic, but it is important that we understand your vision so that we can make it dynamic. Yeah. So that is what your, you, that is what your designers, if I could speak on behalf of every designer right now, <laughs> that is what they're thinking. They are here to serve. They are here to show up. They are here on your behalf, but they can't do it alone, right? They need information to make their talents work on your best. All right. So the first one in terms of how to create a visual brand that sells is to live the vision. All right. Everyone needs to know that no matter who you are, no matter if you're starting today or if you have been in business for the past 30, 50 years, okay, it is important for you to know or revisit, revisit it again. It is necessary. And the more we do that as dynamic creators, the better our vision and the better the public sees that brand to be, okay? The second one is really, really important. You heard me touch on this a little bit already because they all really work as one, is determining your GPS. Now, for those of you who are on the personal side of things, you may have heard GPS in terms of navigating your goals in life and becoming a better person, et cetera, et cetera. Well, guess what? The same is necessary in developing that visual brand for all of your marketing needs and your business needs, organi organization, even your, your physical uh, uh, appearance needs. It is important for you to understand where are you going with this vision, right? Plot it down, make it plain. We know that, right? The same thing happens in your visual brand. The same thing happens in design. Right. As designers, as creators, we have to do the same thing as well. It's not for the sake of just creating something that's pretty, but why are we doing what we're doing? Strategy helps us get there. Strategy is what helps you to stand out in your market. It helps people to identify you amongst the rest of your industry. It helps people to say, I want to work with, with Deborah because of this. I, I want to work with Deborah. Every time I see Deborah's logo, I know that's her, right? Visual brand helps you to do that, yes? And so the same applies in your visual brand, determining what that GPS is. So how, what I want you to ask yourself in navigating what that is, I want you to ask yourself, what am I doing today? What, what am I creating today? Okay. And what do I want my work to be specifically known for in the future? Once you've done that, I want you to answer, how do I want to do that? How do I want to stand out in my market? What about my services? What about my products is going to help me to stand out? What in my market is what in my uh, in my business, in my brand, in my products, in my services is going to help me to stand out and be dynamic each and every time I show up because I want to make sure my people know how to find me. Yeah. Having a GPS in your business helps people to identify you and know how to find you and why they want to stick around, okay? So that is important as we determine what our GPS is. Well, Dominique, I just want to make something pretty. Why do I have to do all that? Well, even still, remember, as I said, even if it's not just you who's creating it, right? Because I know sometimes we have to do things a little grassroots. We have to create things on our own. And I understand that. But even if you're doing it, or if someone is creating it on your behalf, it is important to know this because it is little things like, uh, for example, one of the things my, my audience knows me for is I love me some bling, right? Love me some bling. 
I love me some bling. I love me some white. I love really nice serene and nice colors. Love that. You can kind of see my drapes back there, a little bit of white there, right? And I have a little bit of bling on my arm, right? But it's little differentiators like that that people remember me for. It may not have to be the end-all be-all, right? Uh, the bling is not the end-all be-all of my brand. You can even see it in my eyes there. Um, but it's not the end-all be-all of my brand. But people always know, Anytime I see Dominique, she got always some some kind of bling somewhere. <laughs> they know me for that, right? And it doesn't have to be uh, the answer to everything, but it's a differentiator. For you, it could be a color that you are using, right? I, I have I have a client. There is blue everywhere in her brand. I have another client that we that we helped with her social media and her live events. She has purple. Anytime you see her with her brand or anything of that nature, it always has purple in it. That way, no matter what room she shows up in, no matter what room any of those clients show up in, people know how to identify them, right? It helps subconsciously to identify who they are. Why? Because they strategically set in place that this is how I want to be remembered. And here's, here's the element. I'm going to talk about elements in a minute. But here's the element to use to help cement that vision. Yeah? So that is the element that I'm going to use to help cement that vision. So now we've already talked about living the vision, which is the first element of my dynamic method. We also talked about Determining your GPS. How am I going to navigate this vision? How am I going to get there as best as you can? And this is something that refines itself over the years, but you always need to start from day one, okay? Or day 50, <laughs> wherever you are in that journey. The next aspect is mastering your brand elements, okay? Now, this goes simultaneously into... Uh, uh, developing some kind of consistency, but it's hard to be consistent with something if you don't know the elements to be consistent with. Yeah, right. So mastering your brand elements is very important. What are these signature pieces in your visual brand that people that you always want people to see that is always going to remain consistent in your visual brand, whether that that can be your logo now, I want to touch on this about your logo. Your logo is very important. And make sure that the way the logo is designed is always how it shows up, no matter the platform that it's on. Okay? So what does that mean? That means if it's on a business card, it's going to look the very same way as if it were going to be on a grand billboard. Okay, so that means no stretching of logos, no, no, no discontort, none of that, no, 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 because you want people to see exact, if you, if you see Amazon, if you see any package or any design or anything that they do, and I'm just going back to Amazon because it's just on the top of my head, I just ordered some things yesterday. <laughs> so just using Amazon as an example, you see, always see that smiley face arrow, right? That is a part, that is an element of their brand. So no matter where you see it, you know Amazon, whether it's on a box or whether it's on the website or anywhere that it is shown, you always know Amazon. Why? Because they have mastered that brand element so much to the point where when you see it, you know it's them. I want you to do the same. Just because you might not be large and huge like Amazon doesn't mean that that is not granted unto you. You are in the same commerce world that Amazon is in. So therefore, you need to operate in the same excellence as Amazon would. Okay. And so that's a big, big, important thing. So the same thing when it comes to your colors, what colors represent your brand? Can I identify that in any engagement that I see you in or any in or any platform that I see your products in? Right. So that means with your colors, it's not different variations of your colors every which where. Oh, as long as it's purple, it's OK. No. What specific code 
and it's called a hex code. I want you to do this a bit of research for yourself. It'll be a pound sign and one A two three nine C, whatever, right? A hex code is a specific code that identifies that specific shade, hue, uh, brightness, darkness of a specific color. It is kind of like the social security numbers of colors, put it that way, right? There's only one Dominique Hart and Dominique, and this Dominique Hart has one social security number. This social security number points me out anywhere I am in the world. A hex code does just that. So this, we're still in the mastering the brand elements part here. And I got a short amount and I got a short amount of time. So we're good on time. So mastering your brand elements. So you've mastered your logo. You're mastered your colors using that specific hex code. What is that specific code that really truly represents what your business and organization stands for? Not only that, but what is that specific hex code? What is that specific color that is going to help embrace that experience that you want your clients and your customers to have? That's really important. Once again, going back to Amazon, there is a specific color that Amazon uses. It's, they don't just use yellow and gold and black and white. They use a specific hex code for their, I know this because of my advertising background, every corporation, every established business you see has a specific hex code associated with a specific color that matches their vision, their strategy, and the experience that they want you, my dear, to have. And it's important that you do the same. Why? Because we're always operating in excellence, yes? And so in order to do that, we want to show up right, we want to show up our best, and we want to show up correct. And having those elements in place are very helpful. Guess who's also going to thank you for having these elements in place? Your designers. <laughs> Your designers, your photographers, right? Your videographers, because that brand is going to translate to those other platforms. Yes. And so it's important that you make their jobs easier so that they can make your vision all the greater. Yeah. And so, and it's really, really important to know that. So with the, the translating that, when I say translating it into other platforms, it goes into my next one, which is incorporating the proper tools. Remember I talked about investing in your brand and your business. I want you to also invest in the proper tools that's going to help you to communicate that experience. Okay. So that means if you want for all of my uh, um, business owners, or if you aspire to be a business owner and you want to create a very luxe and uh, established brand experience, you're going to have to invest in tools that will help you to do that. Now that doesn't always mean that you have to go spend thousands of dollars unless it's necessary. But that also does mean if a certain tool, whether it be a live streaming tool, a design tool, uh, uh, word processing, anything that's going to help you to do your job better and show up in a way that you envisioned your brand to be, it is important that you invest in those tools. It could be a mic, it could be AV system so that your sound is right. Because if anyone knows about mics and sounds and speaking and anything of that nature, when the sound is off, the message is off. Okay. And so if we want people to go on a journey with us, we want to make sure that we have the right tools to support them along that journey. And so sometimes that's going to require you to invest in order to do that. And that's okay. Why? Because if you have your GPS set up right, you know you're going to make that investment back. Does that make sense to see? Do you guys see how all of this is coming together? Why all of this is important? I'm giving you guys the behind the scenes as to how the great organizations and corporations out there make it happen. I, the most important thing I want everyone to take away from this is I can do the same thing within my organization, no matter how small or no matter how big I am, or no matter how big I get. But know that from day one, Dominique, Teach me how to show up dynamically from day one. Teach me how to show up in excellence from day one. If, you pay, if you've been paying attention all this time, you are in the right space at the right time and learning some good juicy stuff. And I'm excited for you. <laughs> so, the last thing that I want to leave you guys with 
And with everything that I mentioned today, there's a full deep dive. I do this in my signature system, dynamic visual branding made easy. Um, but I do want to make sure that I leave you guys with the juicy stuff because I want you to succeed. I want you to be dynamic. Anyone who comes in my presence, they know that by the end of the day, they're like, when you come in Dominique's world, you end up dynamic. And that is what I want for you all today. The last part that I think is really going to be really important for you all is, and I've mentioned this a little bit before, but keep brand consistency. That's really, really important. It's one of the last elements that we do for our clients. I'm actually going to share with you guys one element that we actually do to help execute this excellently on their behalf. Once again, large corporations do this, and I want you guys to establish the same keeping brand consistency. Remember what I talked about with the logo, with meaning like not stretching it out and not doing all of, no, 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 no. Exactly how it's created is exactly how it should be no matter what platform it shows up on. And it should, once again, showing up in excellence, I don't want to see pixelated logos. Write down no more pixelated logos. That goes with having a high-end designed logo. Okay, so if it's not created in a certain size, it will show up pixelated and a little bit fuzzy. For those of you who guys don't know what pixelated might be, sometimes I get lost in my own <laughs> in my own knowledge base there. But pixel when something shows up pixelated means that it's a little bit blurry or it's a little bit foggy or it's not clear. It's not um, um, it's not HD. Let's put it that way, right? And you guys have seen that. And there's nothing ugly nice object pixelated and you don't get the true vision of what it's ultimately supposed to look like right it kind of messes with what that experience is supposed to be for you right or what that vision is supposed to look like and so in keeping brand consistency the same way you master your brand elements i want you to do it in keeping brand consistency if your logo is just showing up a certain way i want to always see it that way no matter what platform it's on also, also that saying that goes for your colors. I've seen I've seen this mistake as well. Let's say someone, let's say your brand uh, color is purple, okay? And then next thing you know, I see uh, you will put out a flyer, and the whole flyer is orange. And I'm like, wait, but your colors are purple. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But but now, what you're not thinking about when you don't remain consistent mm -hmm. is that you are embarking upon new, new people who are coming into your world. Everyone who starts with you on day one doesn't end up with you at day 2000, okay? You have new people coming into your world at different parts in that journey. So keeping that brand consistency helps to grow that knowledge base of who you are in your market. It helps people, even when people talk about you and say, you need to go talk to Brenda. You need to go talk to Denise. You need to go talk to Jimmy. You need to go talk. You need to go talk to these people. Just look for XYZ logo. Just look for the, you, have you ever described something like that? You don't want to describe something in a way and then have that person embark on that journey from day one and be like, wait, is Am I in the right place? I, I thought I saw this over here, and but it, it looks like this. Not remaining consistent creates confusion. Now, I don't know about you, but I know in my world, excellence and confusion don't work. They don't work together. They never have. They're not friends. They're oil and water. <laughs> and the whole part of you being in business is to serve these people then it is important that you remain consistent in all that you do. That also means in your marketing, right? That also means in your marketing. And I know Cameron's going to dive into this. You guys are going to learn some amazing information from Cameron coming up in that marketing segment. But I want you to know that as you go on this branding and visual branding and marketing journey, you have to remain consistent. So if your website looks a certain way, then your marketing should also look that way as well. Those elements should show up in your marketing the same way they do in in your presence, on your website, on your business cards, on your flyers, on your ads, on your, you get the point. Every element that is representing that God-given vision that you have, mm -hmm. that was given to you, that was blessed upon, that was blessed upon your life. Mm -hmm. 
It is your responsibility as the dynamic creator of that vision, as a dynamic creator and the influencer of that vision to make sure that you are remain consistent no matter what. I don't care if it's just a document. You want to show up consistent there too. I don't care if it's just in networking. How many times have we met people one way and then behind the scenes, they are just nasty as can be. <laughs> not okay, right? Not okay. That is not consistent. Your visual brand is also that interaction that you have with people as well. Well, how, well, I know you understand why, but why is that, Dominique? Well, well, the, the, the experience that is felt in your presence is also should be experienced when they go on your website. Because how many of us know we like to do research on people? Yeah. When we meet them and then even if you love them and you're like, oh, yes, I can't wait to go on your website and you go on their website and it's just like, mm, that's not, that's not exactly who I met. What happened to her? What happened? Ever had that experience? Was well, just not quite the experience of what you had in person with the person. Or if you had one image in your mind at their website and then you meet them in person and you're like, oh, she's even much better in person. That is a, di although beautiful in that case, it is a disconnect and you don't want that. So even if you have your assistant or your customer service people answering on your behalf, living the vision helps to set the tone for how they should communicate and communicate that vision on your behalf. So all of these elements are we have more time to give you so, so much more about what the visual brand experience is all about. But I definitely know that by the end of this talk and where we have ended up today, you have some really key elements to help you get started or even reevaluate what you've been doing all of this time. And so guys, if you live the vision, determine your brand GPS, you master your brand elements, you remain consistent all you do, you incorporate the right tools, I can guarantee that you will show up dynamically in your industry, in your, in your vision, and I can guarantee for a fact that you will be able to show up and show out and show up in excellence, all in the name of God, in yourself, your family, and your vision. Guys, my name is Dominique Hart. I am a visual branding strategist. It has been my pleasure to serve on your behalf today. I know that I was sent here for a reason, and I hope you got the gems that you need to take your business and your organization forward. Thank you so, so much, Pastor Diane, for inviting me here today. Thank you, Jimmy, uh, for also creating a way as well. And thank you once again, Deborah, for a beautiful introduction and for being a great host. Thank you so much to everyone. Mwah! Love you all. Mm, excellent. Excellent. Um, I do have a question. All uh, right. I I'm good <laughs> for the questions. Bring them on. Bring them on. I do have a question. I, I enjoy I enjoyed everything. One of the things you said uh, is to know know where you're going. Yes. To to get your GPS together. Yes. Most people that I've found that are in business, that are entrepreneurs, yes. they're excited about the product. They love the product and, and everything, but they don't know where they're going. They're all over the place. No. It's one minute they're here and the next minute they're over here. I understand. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So yep. how do you, this is my question. How do you get that entrepreneur that is all over the place and have a good product? Mm -hmm. How do you get them to sit down and start writing the word of God to us to write the vision and make it plain? plain yes. So those who read it can run with it. Yes. And I'm noticing that most people can't run with it when they whip you because you don't know where you're going to. Yeah. Can you kind of like say something? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and it goes back to uh, what I was talking about living the vision, right? Is, yeah. And in order to live the vision, and I want, I want, and I keep saying it over and over because it's so important. You have to sit with that vision sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that means when I say sit with it, it means really, can I chart out a longevity plan for this product or service? If I can't, I know that it's not necessarily meant for me, okay? And so that helps you to not waver in what you see because a lot of times what happens with entrepreneurs, we get excited about these ideas, right? 
And then you see one thing and it's presented to you like, okay, I'm going to do this over here. And then something else is presented to you. And then, oh yeah, I'm doing this over here today. And it's, and it's a matter of, you don't know where you are. So how do I determine what that is? You have to sit and it's really an inward experience. You really have to sit with and say, what do I want to be known for? And Mm -hmm. stick to that. If I want to be known in the beauty industry for the best eyebrows, stick to that because that is how people identify who you are. That is how people hook up to you and say, what you are an expert in this. I need more of that. I want to be in your world because you are an expert at this thing. Doesn't mean that just because you're an expert in eyebrows that you also are not an expert in foundation. They will come to learn that down the line. But for now, they know you for eyebrows. And I'm just using this as an example, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you are an expert, um, uh, uh, you know, coach, well, what kind of coach do I want to be? Well, how, what, okay, I'm a life coach. Okay, what kind of life coach do I want to be? It's, it's a de- it's a deeper conversation that you have to sit with and really ponder with and dare I say pray about yeah yeah right dare I say that because that will help you to navigate where do I want to remain where do I want to stay where do I want to excel in once you are able to laser pinpoint what that is you that is when your talent not your talents, right? We have multiple talents. We all do. But there are one specific talent that opens the door door. Mm -hmm. to other opportunities, right? It doesn't open the door to 80 million other things. It opens the door according to that talent that you are about to bless other people with. That is how the doors are. I love it. I love it. If you want to talk about the keys, that key opens that door. So it's really important to really sit. If you are confused or you kind of have ideas all over the place, really sit with them and plan each of those ideas out. This isn't something that you just say, oh, I want to create this and I'm going to go out and do it, right? God will bless you, but he will bless you bountifully when you really sit with that vision because he makes no mistake in any idea he gives us. I hope that, hope that helps. That helps because I think I think the basic of any of that of what you're saying, the nucleus of finding your GPS is write a business plan. Yes. You yep. got a business plan, you know where you're going. It, it helps you to get to where you're going. So I always push the business plan. Make sure you sit down and get a business plan and stuff. So I don't know if anybody else, Deborah, if anybody else on the panelists, if anybody have, but if you do have uh, something that you want to ask Dominique, write it in the chat for her and she'll be able to see it. Yes. Okay. And um, yeah, it, I do see in the chat here um, uh, that people are asking, how do we reach you? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> how do we reach you, Dominique? How do we play more in your space? Um, you may even be interested in how um, my, our, my agency, Dynamic Endeavors, excuse me, can help create your dynamic vision for your company or your organization. Absolutely, you can do that. If you go over to dynamicendeavors.com, you can certainly go there. Remember, anytime you are talking about Dominique Hart, you are always going to spell dynamic with a K. And that's D-Y-N-A-M-I-K, Endeavors, E-N-D-E-A-V-O-R-S, Dot com and you can certainly go there if you want to hop on a call with me right there at the bottom of the screen there you can just click and schedule a call that works best for you because if you did it according to my schedule we'll never meet I'm so busy so it's best that you are locked in on our schedule so that I can create my time around you and dedicate that time to you so that's how you do that if you also are looking to have me speak at your next upcoming event or anything of that nature you can certainly reach out to me and my team here Donna takes awesome care of of my clients, um, you can reach out to me at dominiquehart.com. Once again, it's Dominique Hart, D-O-M-I-N-I-Q-U-E-H-A-R-T.com. And you can certainly see more about me, myself, my platform, what I speak on, um, the different events, um, different clients that I've had. I mean, L'Oreal doesn't call you for nothing. <laughs> L'Oreal doesn't reach out and say, Dominique, we need you here for an intensive for nothing, right? GoDaddy does not reach out to our organization for nothing um, it's because we operate in excellence and we help our clients to become dynamic. And that is exactly what we are doing today. Love it. I appreciate you. 
You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Um, oh, and then also, if you want to shoot me an email, um, you can do so directly at Dominique at dynamicendeavors.com. So if you have any questions or anything of that nature, um, I am not untouchable. <laughs> I have an amazing team. Uh, we have an amazing team of designers and strategists and uh, my booking manager and everything of that nature, but I am not untouchable. Um, you can definitely certainly reach out to me at Dominique at dynamicendeavors.com. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being on today. Really enjoyed you. Uh, I'm doing multitasking things and they, everybody is saying uh, dynamic, excellent, um, uh, <laughs> more of her, you know, and stuff. So uh, yeah, so we, we enjoyed you so much. We really appreciate you so much about, you know, I never knew um, visual branding was so entailed and when you broke it down to me I'm going oh yeah that is it you definitely because what people see that's what they remember you are if it's, right. messed, if it's messed up that's exactly what they're going to remember you yeah. being messed up so yeah and keeping your colors and everything your logo I've seen so many times people logo is stretched out so many times people logo are small and then they're large and yeah. but consistently is the thing. And the thing that's really interesting about that, Pastor Washington, is that creates a, an image of unprofessionalism in people's it does. minds. It does. And so it may not be intentional. People don't want to intentionally be vicious to you. But when you see things like that, it lessens the value, even by a little bit. It's a lot in God's eyes. Yeah. Even by a little bit that people perceive you to be less than who you truly are is a disservice to how you show up. And so oftentimes, and I understand that everyone's not a designer, Dominique, I'm not creative. I'm just a talent, right? I just want to make my body butters. It's all I want to do, right? I just want to, I just want to coach people. Yeah. I'm to preach. I mean, I just want to preach. I don't want to design logos. That's fine. But it is important that you as a dynamic creator establish what that vision is and set the framework and set the standard of what is going to be so that everyone else can fall in line. And that helps people to always see you at the height that you truly should be seen at. And so oftentimes it can be an afterthought with business owners to, you know, the, oh, I'll create the brand later, or I'll do this later or later, later, later. And I just want to, I just want to show up first. Right. But what happens is in those moments when you are not able to be in the room, in those moments when you are not able to stand next to the shelves at Target, speaking it into the existence, when you are not able to stand next to the shelf at every single Target in America and stand next to your product and say, hey, shaking people's hand and buy my, buy my stuff. No, your visual brand speaks for you when you are not able to be in the room. That's what I mean by that. Visual branding is powerful because before even people say hello to you or shake your hand, they see your brand first. Even if you are vending at a, a conference before COVID. <laughs> vending at a conference or had your table uh, uh, in the back of a room somewhere people are looking oftentimes you are not in the room when people are are walking by and, and looking and picking up flat you know flyers and business cards and seeing your brand from across the room I think one important element that happened not element but experience that happened with a client is literally it was a hair and beauty show and she was there for um she was there as an inspirational speaker because they had an inspirational panel. And with us working with her brand and her logo and her design and everything, of course, we worked on, we helped art direct and everything in terms of what that in-person experience at her booth would be. That's important. And so what happened, and I was there because she's a VIP client of ours. So our VIP clients, they get me on site, right? <laughs> and so we're there and we're talking and, and I'm just monitoring everything, making sure everything's all right. And I'm somehow got a glimpse of someone beelining it from across the room and it's the large you know those large expo places right and they're beelining it from across the room and I'm walking I'm like okay they made that they must know her so I, I mentioned to the client I said hey someone's like kind of coming over here I just wanted to give you a heads up because they're walking pretty fast <laughs> she's like okay okay so now she's on guard and she's ready right so the person walks up to her and, he, and she goes hi nice to meet you and you know and she's just browsing around the table and everything and one of the main things she said to her she's like I know nothing about you but I saw your logo from across the room and I just had to know what is it that you do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so as she's saying it she looks over to me she's like the person's in front of her and she goes 
<laughs> she goes, <laughs> and I said, mm-hmm, go ahead, talk, talk, <laughs> right? Because I know how important that is. And even though that was just that one example, that happens all the time. How many times are we watching TV and we stop flicking the channel to stop and see something because it caught our eye? Production, video, visuals, images, music, words, right? Tone. All of these things create that visual experience that people gravitate to if it speaks to them. And so nothing you hear on TV, online, in your marketing is by mistake. It is all on purpose. And that is what makes them successful. And that is what make you successful too. Stephanie, I hate to say bye, but I don't (laughs) want to, I want you to keep talking, but I do have, we do have to bring on camera and I don't want them to start, look, I don't want them to start texting me and saying, okay, no, 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 we don't want, we don't want, look, we we don't stay on course, we don't stay on the right course like we're supposed to, but we're going to try to, but you just got to come back and, you know, and, and do some more. And when COVID is over, then you just got to come to Detroit. And, yeah, and, and do something in our entrepreneur ministry. Uh, we just love you. We appreciate you so much. And we're going to make sure we put everything in the chat, make sure we put everything on the website and on Facebook page so they can be able to contact you. Thank you so, so much. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here. And I hope that answered uh, the question there. I don't know who had that question, but I hope that blessed you guys. And thank you for all that you guys have been doing with this amazing event. Um, I know it has been impacting so many lives and I'm, it's just my honor to be a part of it all. So thank you all very much and have an amazing, amazing and dynamic rest of your event. Thank you so much. Amen. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs>